Hello everybody and good evening from uh, Iowa here. Uh, I'm going to start off first uh, by this important announcement, you might say. It's from the Public Health Alert for Beef E. coli Contamination. And you might have already seen this, but I don't mind going over it again. Um, the F SIS issues public health alert for Pacific ground beef and HelloFresh meal kits due to possible E. coli 0157-H7 contamination. Washington, September 10th of 2022, the U.S. Department of Agricultural Food Safety and Inspection Services, ISIS, is issuing a public health alert due to concerns that ground beef products in HelloFresh meal kits may be associated with, and I've got to spell this word out because Lord knows I cannot pronounce it, but it's E-S-C-H-E-R-I-C-H-I-A coli. In parentheses, it's got E dot coli, capital E, uppercase E, 0157 double dot H7 illness. A recall was not requested because the products are no longer available for purchase. So that's pretty good. The meal kits containing ground beef for this public health alert was shipped to consumers from July 2nd of 21, 2022, the following products are subject to the public health alert. 10 ounce plastic vacuum packed packages containing ground beef 85%, lean 15%, with codes EST hashtag 46481 L122155 or EST hashtag 46481 L522155 on the side of the packaging. The ground beef packages bear EST46841 inside the USDA mark of inspection and on the plastic ground beef package. The FSIS, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and State Health Public Health Partners are investigating an outbreak of E. coli 0157 double dot or dot dot H7 and raw ground beef is probable sor source of the reported illnesses. Trace back information identified that multiply, multiple case patients received ground beef produced at establishing establishment M46841 and distributed by HelloFresh in meal kits from July 2nd, day 21, year 22. Trace back of materials used to produce the ground beef is ongoing and FSIS continues to work with suppliers, public health partners on the investigation. So if any of your family or whatever um, is with the HelloFresh packaged meals, please alert them to be very careful of the hamburger packages. Okay. Um, I'm sure if you go ahead and type in public health alert for beef E. coli, you will bring up the article I just read from. Okay, and um, I saved it to desktop. Um, I don't know how I could send that out, but I would have to have emails. And um, But I think if you just type in the health of our agricultural food safety and inspection services, and uh, 
HelloFresh meals and uh, E. coli. I'm sure you'll get to the article I just read. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of that. Okay, let me down this now so I can get back to where I'm going. Okay, let's go back here now. Well, I didn't want to do that, but whatever. Okay, here we go. Now, oh, I have had a busy afternoon. Yeah. All right, Europe gets pushed away now. Saudi Arabia is going to hurt the U.S. economy. Partnering ship up with China. OPEC is going to back off of barrels of oil. And uh, more expense for our use of oil and gas. So in other words, our prices are going up again. If they're not already up high enough already. Ain't that right? Two million people will enter the border to our country the rest of this year and the year 2023. And I bet that's going to probably double in 23, if not triple. Our vice president says the border is very secure. Plans are being made to welcome these new people to our country. Camilla Harris, our vice president. China and Russia are meeting in person to discuss business options. Very interesting. Mm. They have already been doing that, I bet you, behind our backs. Oh, and the White House doesn't want us to drill into our sources. So where are we going to get our help from? And why can't we use our sources? That's so mind-boggling to me. You know, if we've got it and can help our people, why is the White House saying, White House saying we can't do that? Mm, whatever. And uh, let's see. Putin and Russia are going into partnership. And Janet Palin says... Hang on to your money. Mm. Yep, prices will be going up. So she's with it too. Now Bannon in the Trump department has pleaded not guilty. He more or less says it is a setup because of what they are trying to do to Trump. Well, you know, tit for tat, you know. It could be. They're piling everything they can on any of Trump's associates. And they're going to get whoever they can get no matter what it takes. That's what it's all adding up to. But I always got that saying. If they're found guilty, if it's been proven beyond a shadow of a doubt, then they must pay. United States for the next 18 months will be a tough, tough time. They're blaming Trump for the border wall. Who started building the border wall? And who stopped it from being finished? Now they're blaming Trump? See what I mean? Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, it was close to being finished. He was all set and ready to go. It was just right to the very end. And it would have been finished. But who stopped it? Well, stimulus checks may be back on the table. But if you're anything like me, not going to hold our breaths. It won't pay. Nope. And you'll see why in a minute. Oh, my goodness. Because of the probability won't help the seniors and the disabled and etc. It won't. The Democrats are dangling a puppet 
in front of our noses. But we aren't stupid. Midterms are getting closer. But all we have is a faith in the Lord Jesus, and I won't give that up. Won't give it up. Because we'll be nowhere if we give that up. The way things are going right now, it just gets worse. Child credits and etc. probably won't be passed until after the midterm elections. See, what I tell you? We all knew it. Hanging a puppet in front of our nose. If you vote for me, I'll help you out. You don't vote for me, Go to hell. Mr. Putin has lost some territory. Ukrainians have won some of the land of theirs and Russia forces retreats back. So he's going to lay back now for a while, you know, his little pride and his little ego's been hurt because he lost some. Yeah, he lost some. They had pictures of the the citizens of the Ukrainians uh, running up to the soldiers and hugging them. It almost brought tears to my eyes, really, because you stop to think the hell that they have been through. And they finally, finally got ahead of something, of that dang Putin. You know, bless their hearts. God love them. Fraudulent fears after the U.S. sent 1.3 billions in COVID relief abroad. U.S. cases continue to drop. But the report from Small Businesses Administration Inspector General raises concerns the money might have benefited oversee crime syndicates. Well, if they got billions of dollars, their syndicates are happy right now, ain't they? Well, it could be. It could be. The governor said she will not. Oh, uh, Minnesota, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here. In Minnesota, the nurses are in stage three of walkout. The nurses are walking out. Yep. The governor said she will not extend special pandemic power that includes suspension of state contract rules and easing of regulations related to hospitals and health care workers. Okay. What's the matter with her? If it wasn't for the nurses, where would the patients be? Mm. While the pandemic is, uh, I can't read my writing again, people. You know how it goes. I get my ink tomorrow, so I'll set up my pewter. Maybe I'll print some of this stuff off and I can read it. <laughs> and I won't have to write it anymore. I'm hoping and praying. My hands are about broke. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, while the pandemic is, fa is falling or something, there are still 10 states across the U.S. with emergency orders in place. They're being careful. A and I'm glad they are. Because we got monkeypox and God knows what else may be coming out of the, the COVID strains, you know, it's just one right after another. So it's better to be prepared than to just say, okay, we can do this. We can do that now. It's okay. We don't need a mask. We don't need shots. We don't need this. Well, I never got a shot. No. And I'm so happy I didn't, but I had to stay in my home, but that's okay. I've got enough to do here anyway <laughs> with five four-leggers and everything else. So, But if you're out in the public, you know, it ain't going to hurt to wear a mask. 
You know, it's just, and it might help you. You know, you never know when the next strain is going to bounce up. You never know. So please be careful. Please. And I did the deal for the meal kits. I had wrote down some here, but it's the same thing I read to you off of the real page. Okay. So that's the video for right now. I don't know if I'll do, an, do another one later or not. I want to try to find some different subjects. And um, it's the same thing, like I say all the time. Stay safe. Keep your faith. And um, it's like our friend Walter always said, you know, keep your faith. Believe in Jesus. He'll get us through this. I pray, pray, pray for each and every one of you. I pray for the children and the babies. I read an article, and it's really sad, but they found three babies dead, and I can't remember the location right now, but they found three babies, and they found the mother, and uh, she was alive. They tried to save the babies, a little three-and-a-half-month-old baby. Couldn't save it. All three children pronounced dead. The mother, they couldn't get no response out of her whatsoever. They don't know what happened. And she's just not with it or something. I don't know. But people are killing people every day. Families, whole families are murdering each other just to get out of this chaos. It's all it's got to be. Of course, unless they're drugged, high on drugs, don't know their brain from anything else. How sad. All right. I might see you later. Can't say. If I don't, have a good night. Stay safe and God bless. Bye.